Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make realistic mouth movements in Anime Studio Pro. Alright, so um, this is a method uh, with the switch layers that has been in Anime Studio for quite a while and I've just found out about it um, very shortly so I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, basically it's very simple, uh, what you do you make a switch layer and let's say you want to animate a mouth, uh, a mouth movement. So uh, I call it mouth. Um, then we draw, uh, we create a vector layer. Um, and let's say we want to have uh, a mouth with the O movement, like he's saying O. And we put it inside the mouth layer and then um, we take the draw shape tool choose a color red since it's mouth and we just try oval right here there we go like he's saying oh so um, um, then what we do we uh, duplicate the layer and let's say now we want to create a, a mouth movement where he says E so we just say E so um, what we do, we are not going to draw something new, instead we are going to use the object right here, uh, what we have already drawn. Um, so we just adjust it, like this, there we go, and maybe use the curvature tool to um, make this a little bit sharper, there we go. So now it's already like he's saying E instead of O. So, you know, um, for those who know switch layers, um, they know that if I would click with my right mouse and I click O, it's changing from E to O. But with this method, you can make it a little bit more different. So, if you double click on the switch layer and you go to switch right here and you click on interpolate sub layers and you click OK, and then let's say you want to create a mouth movement uh, from after two seconds. So at frame 48, you click on the right mouse and you click on the selected layer first. So that way a keyframe is created. And then let's say you go to frame 54 and then you click with your right mouse and you click on O. So if you would play, you see what happens right now is that instead of that it changes in one frame, it basically is moving like this. So that is a very useful way to create a more realistic mouth movement. And of course, right now uh, the mouth that I've drawn is very, very basic. But anyway, you can draw anything on it. You can draw teeth, uh, lips or whatever to make it more realistic. And then the one thing that you have to keep in mind is that you, when you um, want to create this effect, you always have to duplicate um, the layers right here. You can never create just a new layer. It always has to, you always have to duplicate the layer. And you can, uh, even if you have duplicate layer, you can't draw anything new on it because that way it won't work either. It uh, All you have to do is just correct the points so that the mouth movement is different. Um, otherwise, it won't work. So, yeah, that is a very uh, quick tutorial, I suppose. Um, but it's very useful if you want to create realistic mouth movements where you really see the mouth move. And so you don't have to do it all yourself uh, on the timeline. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I hope you uh, found this helpful. Anyway, um, yeah, if you have any more questions, leave a comment and yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. I make new tutorials every week on Wednesday. I also make my own animations. I will upload them whenever they are ready so you can watch those as well. Thanks for watching guys.